My pleasure. Fire away. Tim, what's been your first impression of Dayon Hayes and some of the guys that you've inherited in this defensive line? Yeah, when, uh, Dayon in particular, asking about him. I mean, wow. Lots of ability. Lots of ability, you know. And, and to Dayon's credit, our first conversation, conversation as soon as dudes hired me, get on the phone with him, he said, hey, what do I got to do? What do you see? What do I got to do to get better? So credit to him. Day one in the books, and we got to keep working away. But a lot of ability out there. Big, strong kid. Um, you know, I was an older guy, a lot of experience, played a lot of ball. You know, uh, you know, he and I get on the same page. You know, if we're going to have a great season here and great defense, it's going to start up, up front. And have you been able to rely on him as far as like a, a guy that can kind of corral the room together as far as a leader for the other guys? Well, I think the room right now, we're in a position right now where there's a lot of guys, hey, handle their own situation right now. Each kid in uh, the, the the leaders will kind of come and forge themselves through the spring into spring practice. Obviously, he has the skill set to do that. But really, a lot of guys hone in on their own craft right now. You said Dayon asked you, <clears throat> you know, where can he improve? What can he get better? What kind of feedback did you give him? It instantly, because you see the ups and downs uh, on the film. You see some flash. You say, wow, you should be back in combine. We're talking about him in a different light this time next year. And then see some other things where he's probably, you know, a little bit embarrassed and probably lost mentally more than he did physically. So I think, you know, telling him being present in every meeting, in every weightlifting session, and I say present, I'm talking about his mentals, be present in every rep that you're in. I think he'll have a special year if we can get that done. Coach Charlie, obviously been here for a few years, well-respected coach. How do you approach in the guy after him and kind of implementing your yeah, I, I will say this, and, and credit yeah. to Coach Partridge. He was one of the first people to reach out to me uh, when I got the job. And a great guy, and uh, I've learned from him before I got here and when I got here. So I, I tell you what, it, it beats the alternative of following a situation that was a train wreck, right? You come in here with a guy that is a great defensive line coach, and the kids are well coached and they really like football. So, you know, go in there, and, and I just believe in being me. And there's a reason Coach Narduzzi brought me in here, uh, probably multiple reasons, but one of them being the, the fit that uh, he and I have with each other and the familiarity I have with this scheme and the passion I have for what we do defensively. So there's really a pretty seamless transition. I think Coach Partridge and I are delivering the same message, maybe in some different terms here and there, but those are a great group of kids. And, you know, certainly they were, uh, were sad to see Coach Pete go, but no, uh, no, uh, let's see, no uh, walls being built between me and those kids right now. They've been full speed ahead, jumping into what I'm selling. Did you have a partial connection with Charlie before? No, uh, I was fortunate enough with my relationship Coach Darnuzzi is another guy on his uh, staff, and we've talked football over the years and how this profession works, you know, and respect his work from afar. It seems like Nikai has put on some weight. He's still like he's a defensive end. He's going to score some defensive tackles. He, he's going to play some deep, a lot of defensive tackle. A big kid, athletic, you know, really like his frame. He's got to get used to carrying that weight that he's put on now, you know, which kind of jumped on to that. I brought up this nice weather from the south. <laughs> Thank you. Your hiring was announced less than a month ago, so I'm sure it's been a jam-packed handful of weeks for you. How much are these spring practices, you know, learning experience for you as you still get adjusted here? Well, the great thing is, like I alluded to with Mike from here, right, with the scheme, some words have changed over the years, the 20 years ago that, that Pat and I were together, but principles haven't changed. It's just marrying the right words with the same techniques that we've done for years and years and years, and then talking with a great group of guys on the defensive side of the ball and how we want to do things. But uh, certainly the biggest thing we ate, I told the guys, hey, just get me to the right area, the right field at a certain time today. And then once we get there, let's get to work. And, and they were great. We had It was fun to get out there. This is the best time of the year to be a football coach, in my opinion. Why do you and Pat mesh well together? <laughs> you see, I mean, it's, it seems like there's some similarities, obviously, just in, in energy um, and personality. I think when I was uh, coming out of college in my first job in uh, 2000 and two well he was on that staff and i was able to learn under him and some other great coaches and they they molded the way i saw football and defensive football in particular and how you uh, approach kids and how you teach them and, and you know, how you walk in the office every day with a certain attitude and effort every single day i remember he had an, a sign in his office back in the day and he said attitudes are contagious it's years worth catching that was a sign in, in coach dude's office when i worked for him when i was very young and, and that's the truth and I think he and I see life in football very, very similar. You know? So uh, yeah, we're, uh, we both have a passion when we everything we do. So uh, we'll be a lot of good to that, I hope.
Anything additional? Yeah, I believe uh, you worked with Corey Sanders in the past too, right? Uh, yeah. You know, as you were considering this opportunity, I mean, did that was that a factor as well? The opportunity to work with him again? Um, Corey, to me, when when Corey and I worked together, Coach Dudes called me about a secondary coach. I said, "This guy's the real deal. He checks off all the boxes," and uh, that was the start of our friendship. That's just grown from there. So yes, I've had some inside information over years and years of things that go on here. I mean, me and my family have watched pit football for the last decade that Pat's been at the helm, whether I was playing against him on the other sideline or now when I was at some other institutions. But yeah, and Corey's been a part of that, a great friend of mine. Uh, we've talked football and life and everything, but yeah, Corey's, Corey's as good as they get. Okay. Coach, thank you very much for your time.